In this video, I'm gonna show you how to upgrade your AC condenser in an F-Series BMW. Let's go. What's up everyone, I'm Steve and you're watching F33. Now if you like this video, give a thumbs up, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification so you don't miss when a new video drops. Now your AC condenser sits right up front behind your kidney grills, which puts it right in the line of fire for rocks, bugs, and other debris. When I hit the deer, my kidney grills shattered and were sent straight into the condenser. Now, I don't think that I lost any refrigerant, but I can tell you that looking at my condenser, it can't be very efficient anymore with all of those bent fins. Now, a replacement condenser from BMW is not cheap. On FCP Euro, it's listed at almost 600 bucks, but if you get this one from CSF, it's only about 100 bucks. And if you know anything about CSF, you'll know that they make amazing cooling products. Now I'll warn you that swapping out your condenser is not a five minute task and involves draining the coolant, removing the radiator and fan, and properly evacuating the refrigerant from your system. Now I'm not gonna cover all of those steps in this video because if I did, it'd be like a three hour video. So to keep things short and on topic, I've put links in the video description to all the additional steps that you'll need to complete this upgrade. All right, let's head out to the garage and get this CSF AC condenser installed. The tools needed for this install are a T30 and a T20 socket. The installation difficulty is easy. Once you've removed everything that was in the way, that is. Now, as mentioned, you'll need to first remove your air intake, drain your coolant, remove your fan and radiator, and evac the AC system. I've put links in the description below to all those videos so that you can check them out. All right, so now that we've got all those bits and pieces out of the way, we're ready to swap the AC condenser. Remove the two T30 bolts holding the AC lines to the condenser and make sure not to lose the O-rings. You'll want to remove those slowly just in case there's any refrigerant still in the lines. Also, be sure to wear glasses and gloves because getting 132A in your eye does not sound pleasant. There's also a T20 that holds the condenser to the car. To remove the condenser, slide it to the driver's side and then tilt the condenser back and lift it out. All right, so let's take a look at them side by side. As you can see, the OEM and the CSF look almost identical, but the CSF doesn't have any of the plastic pieces that the OEM does. The new condenser is gonna drop in the same way the old one came out. Secure the new condenser to the mounting bracket with the T20. There's no torque spec for this one. Just don't over tighten it as it's metal into plastic. Now connect the AC lines and torque the two T30s down to 10 newton meters. Before you put your radiator back, it's a good idea to evac the AC system. This is gonna do two things. First, it will get rid of any moisture that's in the system and prep it to be charged. Second, it will be a great test to ensure that there are no leaks in the system. Make sure that when you evac the system that you let it sit for at least 30 minutes to ensure there's no leaks. All right, almost done. Now you can reinstall your radiator, fan, air intake, and fill up your coolant. There's a video coming out soon that will show you how to recharge your AC system, so be on the lookout for that. All right, let's head back out to the deck for final thoughts and to close out the video. 
Now, as you saw, while it's not a five minute job by any stretch, replacing your AC condenser is not too difficult. Just take your time and you'll be enjoying ice cold AC in no time. Now, as always, I put links in the description below to all the products, tools, and specs needed for this install. Now, if you found this video helpful, be sure to hit that like button, smash it if that's what you're into, subscribe if you're not already, and I'll see you on the next one. God bless.